Hey guys, it's Fox with Foxo Games. Welcome to my video. We're going to talk about how to install and configure DS Fix for Dark Souls. If you're going to play Dark Souls on the PC, you pretty much have to use DS Fix to get a good experience out of it. So first things first, bring up Google and type in DS Fix and search. It'll bring up the Meta Class of Nil blog, which is the blog belonging to Durante, the guy who created DS Fix. For some reason, the place where you find most mods for Dark Souls is the Dark Souls Nexus, but he hasn't uploaded the latest version there yet. So you have to go here to get it, at least as of the upload of this video. You can download DS Fix 2.2 here. So click that, and it downloads. Open it up, and there you go. Those are the files. What you can do is highlight them all and choose copy, or you can drag and drop, whatever works for you. Now you need to put it in your Dark Souls data folder. Well, what's the easiest way to find that? Rather than opening up Explorer and digging deep into files and folders and all that garbage, just go ahead and right-click Steam, choose Library, bring up your library. Mine has a custom uh, Steam skin on it, but yours will look pretty much the same. And go over here. Now yours may be set in this default mode where it shows like this or some other mode but it doesn't matter what it looks like. Just find Dark Souls, whether it's text or whether it's a graphical uh, box like mine here. Right click it, choose Properties, go to Local Files, and click Browse Local Files. There's your data folder. Double click it, it's opened up. Go ahead and right click inside there and choose Paste. I've already got my DS uh, fix files in here, so I'm not going to paste it. That'll put all, all the files exactly where they need to be. Now, find your dsfix.ini file and open that up. If you're not familiar with INI files, Basically, they're the files that contain settings for programs, modifications, all sorts of things. These are generally stuff that loads upon loading a game or loading a program. Open it up. Don't get freaked out. First of all, keep in mind that anything with this hashtag, pound sign, whatever you want to call it, call it whatever you want in your country, whatever doesn't make you freak out about it, it's this thing, okay? This is actually the vers a, a basically a comment if you're familiar with programming languages at all, then you probably don't need to be watching this video, but basically a comment is a line that is ignored. It basically allows you to type whatever you want. So you could literally just go like this, type that in and be like, hey guys, this is Fox with, well anyway, I said Foxy, but anyway, let's get rid of that. So those lines are ignored, don't worry about them. They explain what's going on. Render width and render height. Set this to the maximum that you want to try to run it at, depending on your hardware. No one can tell you exactly what's the best setting for you unless they know exactly what your hardware is, and you should be figuring that on your own experiment. Most PC gamers that have a decent setup with a monitor that can go up to 1080p are going to set it at 1920 by 1080 That's sort of the de facto standard for desktop PC gaming. For present width and present height, that is basically what... Okay, the top one here is your internal rendering resolution. It's what it gets rendered at before being displayed on your screen. This is what gets displayed on your screen. I've chosen zero, so that basically makes this the same as this. You could actually make this higher than what you see and it gets downsampled. Don't worry about that. If you want to look up what that is, you can go ahead and do that. But if you've got powerful enough hardware, feel free to do that. It gets a slightly better image. I put 1920 by 1080 because that's my maximum resolution for my monitor. Zero and zero here, which means it's 1920 by 1080, the settings we have up here. Okay, anti-aliasing is actually not that important, so if you really need to, you know, uh, budget some, some more performance out of it, budget's not the right word, if you need to get some more performance out of it, go ahead and set that to zero for off. Or if you got a really powerful card, feel free to set it to four for high. I like three, so I'm leaving it at three. SMAA looks better, FXAA performs better. So again, it's a trade-off. Do you want the looks or do you want the performance? Do you have a powerful enough PC with graphics card and all that stuff to handle it? If so, choose SMAA. Otherwise, choose FXAA. Again, FXAA for the less powerful hardware. If you set this to zero, it doesn't matter what you choose here because you've turned it off. I set mine at three. SSAO. Basically, this is ambient occlusion. It makes stuff look nicer by adding some more realist, realistic shading and shadows. It's up to you what you want to set this at. If you're looking for maximum performance, set the strength to zero and turn it off. If you're looking for maximum uh, quality, set it to three with a one here for the quality of it. If you still want some, but you don't want you know, the maximum um, impact on your performance, you could choose two or you could choose three. I choose one. That's maximum quality. Right here, this determines what kind of ambient occlusion. I'm not going to get into all the details. You can experiment here, find what works best for you. I chose the best looking one, which is basically VSSAO2. 
Um, I think that looks the best. Depth of field. If you're running at 1920 by 1080, I recommend sitting, setting it at 810. So basically that means that stuff that's out in the distance is not rendered full resolution. It's rendered at 1440 by 810, which is perfectly fine. And then set the DOF blur amount to 1 if it's 540 or 810. Set it to 2 if it's anything 810 and above. It just depends on what you prefer. I prefer 1. That works for me. This one right here is one of the big ones. If you need to, uh, if you need to get more performance out of Dark Souls, leave it at zero. It'll run a maximum of 30 frames per second. If you want the best looking experience, set it to one and set your FPS limit to 60. That'll be basically the refresh rate of most monitors that are 60 hertz. Most monitors are 60 hertz unless you went out and bought a really nice one. Texture filtering, don't really need to worry about it. Trust me. Just uh, leave it unchanged at zero for the most part. You don't need to worry about it. That's something you can also force in your control panel for your graphics card. I have an NVIDIA, so I'm going to open up my NVIDIA control panel and show you what I do for Dark Souls. Basically, you find Dark Souls in the drop-down list. It's going to be called data.exe. I don't know why, but the actual Dark Souls executable is data.exe, not the Dark Souls.exe. Wait for that to load. Scroll down to the bottom. See, data.exe is the last thing I played with. I turned on anisotropic filtering. You can turn it on if you want. I also turned on triple buffering in vertical sync. I prefer vertical sync. If we're going to max out at 60 frames a second, it just makes sense. So that's what I did. Your mileage may vary. Experiment. HUD options. I don't mess with any of that stuff, so I've got it set off. But you can change the size of the HUD if you want. I like to um, enable borderless full screen mode if I'm in windowed mode. I also like to disable the cursor so it doesn't show while you're playing. It'll actually show a mouse cursor if you're using the mouse and keyboard. That's really annoying. I set it to 1 for off. Capture cursor I set to 1 so it captures inside the window. Save game backups. Do you want DS Fix to automatically back up your save games? Yes or no? Set it to 1 if you do, 0 if you don't. I've got it set to back up approximately, what is that, every 20, 20, uh, 20 18 minutes, something like that. Anyway, moving on, I, I make some backups there. that You can set that to whatever you want. It's up to you. Enable texture dumping. You don't need that, trust me, unless you're going to be making mods, which you don't need to be watching this video. Enable texture override. If you're downloading mods from Dark Souls Nexus, like let's say stat buff icon mods or weapon mods to make weapons look different or mods to change your HUD, then you need to set that to 1. And you dump those mods, those uh, graphical files, in the DS Fix folder in the text override folder. So you can see I've got a bunch of things here. I've got a flora override, so it gets higher quality uh, plants. And you can see the image right there. You just dump them all in that folder. Again, that's DS Fix folder and your Dark Souls data folder, and then the text override folder. Set that to one if you want to do that. You got to find those mods separately on Dark Souls Nexus. I skipped the intro. It's easier for me. It skips the intro screens. And then if you're using anything else with DS Fix, another DLL file. I recommend DSC fix. Put it here. D input 8 DLL wrapper. After that, put DSC fix .dll and install DSC fix the same way you installed DS, DS fix. Basically drop it in the data folder. This is a connectivity fix. Anyone that's on your friends list, you will quickly and easily connect to. See what this says? The settings below are not ready to use. Don't use them. Don't bother with it. Don't worry about it. Okay. So those are the settings that I'm using. Let me go ahead and launch the game for you and you'll get to see what my game looks like. Oh, the other thing uh, that's very important that's in the instructions that a lot of people don't read, and really guys, read the instructions. Turn off anti-aliasing inside of the game. Trust me, if you don't turn off anti-aliasing inside the game, in the game settings, you will run into major problems. As in, the DS fix won't work properly. Looks like somebody uh, brought up a chat window and now it knocked me out of my game there. Let's try this again. Let's bring it back up. All right, guys, we're back. It looks like a little, I clicked outside the window, so it knocked me out of full screen mode. But anyway, press start, go to PC settings, turn anti-aliasing off. Motion blur, you can turn it on, you can turn it off, it's up to you. Full screen, you can turn it on, you can turn it off, it's up to you. Frequency depends on your monitor. Most of you are going to be 60 hertz. And I'm doing 1920 by 1080, 32-bit. Those are the settings I use. Again, anti-aliasing must be off absolute necessity for DS Fix to work. Well, let's go ahead and load up one of these games. Let's load up the SL30 build in the Peculiar Doll. So you can see 
that uh, I have a crap ton of souls that I got completely legitimately from PvP, of course. And uh, basically, it looks infinitely better than if you just ran the game at its stock settings, which limited it to 1024 by 720, which is terrible resolution for PC gaming, unless that's all you can handle. Anti-aliasing looks great, high quality. This area right here, because of the long draw distance, will, will hurt my frame rate a bit. I get down to about 40 frames per second. But this is with all my settings pretty much maxed out. I don't do any uh, oversampling, but I've maxed everything else out and even enabled some things inside my graphics card control panel. But you can see it looks pretty good, and that's how you install DS Fix. If you guys have any problems, feel free to comment below. I'm not going to be able to answer everything, but of course other people can respond when you comment on the video. I will see you guys later. Have a good one.